And with one fell swoop, the unveiling of the first surfboard from Surfboards on Parade came to life January 14th at Chamber Member Dukes. The near year-long expressions of one-of-a-kind surfboard shaping and art kicked off by the Rotary Club of Huntington Beach with a surfboard from famed artist Wyland and shaper Tim Stamps. The journey begins now with founding partners and beneficiaries including Hogue Family Cancer Institute, the Huntington Beach Art Center, Dukes, and the International Surf Museum, among many other businesses in the region. And, uh, to have this go for the next nine months, uh, with you know three boards coming out in March, the big unveil May 1st, 25 boards throughout the city, all the way from downtown to Bellaterra, you know, we can't wait. It's so exciting. Rotary Club of Huntington Beach is known for bringing business and community causes together. Rotary is an organization that are, that are leaders in doing good, doing service throughout Huntington Beach. They've always been that way uh, to take this issue of skin cancer on, uh, which is very important to us at the beach, um, and to combine that with surf culture and the ocean and the tourism industry. This is all good for Huntington Beach. We are very proud and very excited to be part of the city of Huntington Beach with the Rotary Club. It is very special to us and we are humbled by the fact that they would select us. To see the attendance at this event first and foremost brought together locals, surfers, shapers, Huntington Beach business people, Huntington Beach residents, and Huntington Beach officials. And all of us coming together for the same purpose, to celebrate the art and culture of surfing in Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach is that it stirs the drink for the entire surf community. The event will also coincide with this year's 100 years of surfing in HB. And it started today with surfboards on parade with this great surfboard shaped by this guy, Tim Stance, and his number one team rider, Courtney Conlog. And we've had a great day. You'll be all through the summer. You'll see more surfboards on parade. And of course, Courtney will be here trying to win the US Open. I'm not from Huntington, but I went to high school here. And my family worked in the oil rigs back in the day. And to see this and be a part of it is pretty rad. 25 new surfboards are in the beginning stages to join the parade. And for artist Dave Hobrek, his Kelly Slater board will be the next one up. I want to do it outstanding, do it great, it's for great causes, and to get a Kelly Slater board like this is amazing. So yeah, looking forward to it. And, and this is a really cool kickoff to this event. Your, your comments about what you've seen so far. I think it's outstanding. Number one, the charities. Um, so if you can you know, benefit something that's uh, for skin cancer, the Rotary Club, and then the arts with HB, the arts. And I grew up here in Huntington. So to have the arts you know, benefit from this program as well, I think it's a great kickoff. And Wyland, with his, uh, what he does for the oceans around the world is amazing. So it's perfect for him to kick off the program. We're going to have, we're gonna have a couple of uh, really cool other board shape of partnerships. We're going to have Robin August for the 50th anniversary of Endless Summer, uh, which is really a cool thing. Also, I was just in Australia and I got together with Darren Hanley, DHD, and they're going to do a Mick Fanning board with uh, artists from Australia, so that'll be cool too. For Surf City Highlights, this is Matt Liffering.